Hello, I'm Radioactive Duck, and this is Dwarf Fortress. We are going to head back to Galley Pages. I forget which realm it's in. <laughs> um, I think it's the World of Oracles. No, it's not. Um, okay. Oh, maybe it's the Oracular Plane. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Galley Pages. So this is our latest and greatest. Um, this is this is a map I'm super excited about. We found obsidian, like pretty high up, and that is like the first time that's ever happened to me. I'm sure it's probably happened to other people loads of times. Um, it's the first time it's ever happened to me. So we're gonna just uh, refresh our memory here. So looks like we don't have a whole lot of wood, but we've got some gems. This is like a little storage, looks like. Oh, this is going to be our farm, I think. Yeah, this is going to be our farm. But we're waiting for the water to build up, I guess. Um, oh, the water is built up here. So, and this is going to be our, <laughs> our weird little craggly animal pen. Um, we just need to get uh, some, some fungus up here. Um, we do have cats, but it looks like we also have a lot of vermin, which is fine, because we have cats. Um, and then this is actually looking pretty good. We'll put a hive on there. Um, looking pretty good. Um, I think our animals are still out here. Yeah, our animals are still out here, which is fine. All right, let's get things kicked off. I don't know what exactly is going on, but we'll find out. Um, planter, brewer, carpenter. Mark Storff is visiting. That's fine. So it looks like we've got a good amount of storage. We've got some a good amount of wood up here. I think we had our, our jeweler here that we disassembled. Um, how many cats do we have? Two, five, we've got five cats. Okay, that's not so bad. I would like for there to be more, but that's okay. Um, fish or berries, let's, uh, let's do some blueberries maybe. All right, so let's just see. We need to, we need to hit some fungus so we can get the animals up here. Um, oh, okay, so we can, hang on a sec. So. We could put a watering hole here. I think I may have talked about that last time. Um, I don't even know if we need watering holes, but it, it's going to go there. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> um, so we've got some beds and stuff. Um, I think I want to maybe put another carpenter station there. I don't know. We'll, we'll deal with that later. We'll let the dwarves kind of get things cleaned up here. This is going to be our tomb, uh, like our mausoleum. Um, I don't exactly know how I want that designed yet. We'll figure that out later. Oh, tons of storage. And then, so I think we said we found, oh, right. We found obsidian and we found magma, right? Hang on. Did we find magma? Did I? Yeah, we did. We found magma. Okay. So I'm not going to set up any, um, interesting, interesting. I'm not going to set up any, um, forges and stuff yet, but, and I think this is where we said we were going to go down. Okay. Okay. We'll deal with that later. Let's, um, let's get some living quarters set up here. So this is going to be our a little freebie shop. This is gonna be something. Temple, something. Um, oh, we've already got some some good living quarters set up. All right, cool. We'll we'll just keep banging this out for now. Um, we're putting our like nobles and stuff here. I've been thinking about it. I think I want to join the monarchy, and then kill the king or the queen or whoever. And then I don't know if they'll be replaced or not. Um. I guess we'll find out. So, but I don't necessarily want to deal with all of the the demands that they make. Is this rubies? No, spinel. Okay. Um, 
I don't want to deal with all the demands that they make. I, I, I like things easy breezy, so we'll see what we'll see what happens. Um, I've also been contemplating uh, raiding the elves. I've never actually like seized goods from elves before. I've thought about it. I'm tempted to do it, so we we may do that too. Just see what happens. But maybe we'll wait till everybody's a little bit more um, like w well armed. So, all right, we got thirty four people, and we've got eight. 16 bedrooms that are fully functional, looks like. Um, yeah, but we can do some of these. All right. So I think my goal is to get enough, be uh, I don't know, I think I just want to crank out a bunch of living quarters and a bunch of like meeting halls and things like that. And then we'll worry about the magma and oh we need that that fungus though for the animals shoot okay well we're gonna do this and we'll have a couple people mining to see if we can get down to like a fungus layer so we'll do that um so i think we'll do nobles all over on this side i think we got enough space to do a couple more yeah and then uh you know meeting quarters and stuff here so um let's uh Let's, we can leave that on four for now. Let's smooth this all out. And then let's see if we have any more doors and stuff. Looks like that door maybe, um, yeah, needs to be resumed. All right. And we can start cranking out some furniture. Um, I think the first thing we're gonna do with that big meeting space is create a temple. I feel like a lot of times I don't, I don't focus on temples and maybe I should. Um, and you know, sometimes there are these organized religions that pop up and they demand that I set up a temple of course, but all right, so we're going to do some more bedrooms here. And we can do these too. That's great. Let's see if we have any more beds that we can pop in there. Um, so we'll have 32 if I can get all of these done. And then maybe we can do like one more. And that'll be good for right now. We can work on like temples and stuff like that. So um, we're going to actually switch this to one because I feel like it's a little bit more of a priority. I want to make sure everybody's comfortable and happy. Um, and we are, okay, so we're in, we're in winter now, so we're not going to have any trading going on for a while. I do want to make sure that we're continuing to crank out food. Um, it looks like we've got a good amount of drinks, so we, we may have to uptick our food um, production, but that's fine. Let's see what we got for beds. Hey, we got plenty. That's great. I always love the beginning part of the game before there's like temples and stuff for the dwarves to do. Because they just work, 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 and they just crank things out. And I feel like it, it's a good way to set us up for, um, you know, future settlers. Like, we can, we can start cranking out even more bedrooms to prepare for the people that are going to come. In fact, I would like to create a dormitory. Like, a nice, a nice dormitory. Let's see. Do we have any, um, I don't know if we've been making cabinets or not. I don't think so. Not a lot of stone though, so that's good. I don't think we've been cranking out cabinets. Um, tables, oh, we have, okay. So we do We do have some cabinets. Um, we got some more doors, that's great. Okay. Well, let's just finish some of these rooms up. Well, not finish, but let's, let's make these rooms a little bit more cozy. These are all howl hollowed out now. Oh, man, those dwarves work fast. 
Well, in that case, we'll put in the cabinets first and then we will create a dormitory and maybe some more bedrooms. Actually, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Cabinets, we'll go up here first. I don't know how many, oh, we've got some cabinets in there, that's great. We've only got five, that's fine. Um, there we go. And then let's, um, while we're waiting, let's map out our dormitory and stuff. So we're gonna do, I'm not gonna have them start construction yet, so I'm gonna keep that off for now. But we're gonna do dormitory. Hmm, the question is, do I want a whole thing chunked out. Um, this is going to be our dining hall. Hmm. I think we could just do a dormitory this size. I think that'll be good. And then we'll do four more bedrooms. I don't think I want the whole, the whole area to be dormitory. This should be just fine. Lovely. Um, and then we can do this, I guess. Two doors, maybe? I think that'll be fine. I'm still not going to have them start to do this yet, because I feel like we want to get the dormitory up and running. Um, I want to double check. We do have a dining hall up here, right? Yeah, we do. Okay, good. Good, good. Um things up here look messy, but that's okay. Um, this is our trade depot. Um, let's see. Um, I wanted to check our food production. So we don't have any work orders going there. We do have work orders here. Um, hang on. Less than 2,000. That's fine. Less than 2,000. That's fine. Okay. That is just fine. Um, we'll get this one up and running too. We're going to do... This one we're gonna do, I think, five thousand, and then eventually we'll we'll switch all the other ones to five thousand as well. Um, do we have anybody fishing right now? We do. Okay, good. Um, let's do. Yeah, let's take a look at all of our. Let's let's appoint a couple more miners. Got a couple people hunting. Okay. Got some people planting, um, cooking. Um, we're gonna want more planters at some point, more more harvesters at some point, but I think this is good for now. Man, we are <laughs> running low on stuff. Um, has created oh, a cedar bin. He offers it to the lands of communion. That's great. That's wonderful. Well, okay. Um, stray cat, stray cow, stray sow. That's fine. Well, all right then. How is our, do we want to set up our farm yet? This is looking pretty full. Um, so this is the reservoir, right? And this is the floodgates. I think we can flood this. <laughs> I mean, this looks pretty good. Let's flood it and see what happens. Because then we can get our farms up and running. Maybe it's not good. Maybe it's not enough. We'll see. 
If not, no big deal. We can open the reservoir. In fact, we may want to do that. Pull the lever. All right. There we go. Nice. That's that's coming along nicely. Um, I think uh, we'll give it just another minute, and then we'll pull it again. Let's do um, this. We'll pull this one first, and then we'll pull this one. All right, that's looking nice. We'll give that a chance to settle. And then let's see how we're doing. We got some more cabinets. We got a lot of doors. That's good. Got some more beds. Do we have anything? Oh, no, we got bins. Um, I think we just need to let the dwarves catch up because they're not putting things in bins. It's fine. It's fine. We got uh, reindeer cows. That's fine. Let's see how things are down here now. That's coming along nicely. Um, and then we're going to finish mapping this out here. Um, we'll do two big rooms. All right. Before we do, before we start shelling those out, we're gonna make the dining hall and the other temple. All right. This is looking pretty nice. So the last like two or three maps I did, um, I had these like internal safes in the nobles like rooms. And I'll put our artifacts and stuff in there and then lock them. And I did not lose any, like they never got stolen. It worked out really well. So I'm gonna continue doing that. I don't know if there is a, better way like I was thinking maybe I could just make like like one safe and put all of our stuff in there but I also I like being able to boost the value of the nobles rooms to make sure that they're happy so that may be something that I continue to do it's, it's a little bit um persnickety a little bit particular but I think it'll work um speaking of all right we so we still have an expedition leader we don't have a mayor yet that's good Let's continue on with our cabinets. I may want to crank up the furniture production, but we'll see. Food looks like it's sort of coming along. Okay. Three, two, one. Oh, we got a bunch more, huh? That's great. Okay, um, we needed to make gem windows for this as well. Um, we'll let them finish. Let's um, put some beds in here. Um, nine, eight, nine. I I don't I don't know. I don't like putting beds across from the door for some reason. It's like I don't know. I don't know. It's just this weird thing that I have, but it's fine. And then let's put some furniture in here too. Let's do some chairs and tables. Um, like so.
And this will be our nice little dormitory. That'll be great. And then we can get rid of that dormitory upstairs. Um, we can get rid of the dormitory upstairs, turn it into an office. That'll be fine, I think. I really want them to finish smoothing things out. And I know that I keep giving them orders to like bring furniture down, but you know, like, you can do five things at once. My goodness. Come on, little guys. Let's go. You said this is tourmaline. Okay. Well, while we're doing that, I said I was going to have a couple people mining um, to get down to the fungus level. So this is where we blocked everything off. We wanted to go there. Um, do we want to go there is the question. So this is a good spot. And then there's just that gaping chasm. Okay. So, but here, here looks like a good spot that we can go down, down, down. We can do um, maybe like a forge here, maybe. Mm. Um, okay. So I think that's a good spot. Let's do that. It's kind of far, but let's, let's do it. Um, we'll go this way. I think that'll do. And then we're actually going to switch this over to stairs. Um, so this is like the first layer of magma, but there's also magma down here. So this could be our this could be our, no, this could be our forge level. And then this will be like the under forge level. Like this will be where the, all the magma flows in. Um, so I think that'll be good. Opal, okay. The real question is, am I going to start producing glass? Glass and is it like clay? Um, um, like the, the kiln? I don't know. I don't know if I want to do those things. I've never really like done those industries before. I've never done those things before. Like I've, I've maybe had like one or two going and nothing ever comes of it. So I feel like if I do put those in, that may be something I do a little bit later on. But we'll see. Um, interesting. So we could go out here and get some cave spider silk. That's not, that's pretty convenient. All right. So I think this is where we want to put our forge. Um, this is, wait, we said this was the fort. Hang on. Forge and under forge, where all the magma is going to go. I don't like that. Okay. I know it's just like letters, but still. So let's continue going down. Um, I don't want to like hit any more magma. I don't know if that's going to happen or not. I suppose we'll find out, but let's go down a few more layers and just see if we can't get to like fungus. Cause I want to move those animals indoors. Okay. So that looks pretty good. I'm just going to go all the way down to the bottom of the, the magma, I think. Um, Cause I feel like that's a pretty safe bet. So that takes us to layer 33. Okay. Okay, this is looking fine. Or 
course in early spring now so the elves are wait are there elves in this map i forget if there are elves they may be coming to trade we'll find out <laughs> um man winter went really fast more obsidian that's nice which makes sense because magma. All right, so here's our bottom. Okay, well, let's continue on. I'm gonna try to do this maybe, let's go down to f negative 40 and then we'll do 10 by 10 after that. Alert, the elves are here. Well, I don't know that I have anything to trade them. Um, they're going to have to be patient because I want to see. I want to see what's under here. Nothing. All right, let's go deal with the elves. Oops. Okay. Um... What do we got here? I thought I, whatever. Okay. Um, I don't know that I have anything to trade them. That's the thing. Oh, I could give them some bags. I could give them, no, I don't want to give them any blocks. I could give them a chromite bracelet. I could give them a zinc cage, no. Cut gems. So now I could give them cut gems. I don't really want to, but I could. I'm just going to see what they have. And I can always bring more stuff up if I need to. I need the dwarves to, like, sort stuff. <laughs> um, so that's a thing that needs to happen. I need more. This is an empty bin. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Soon there will be another caravan and I can sell a bunch of stuff and then my storage problems will go away. All right. Somebody was adopted. Yeah, that's nice. What do they got? <clears throat> giant deer, giant cougar. Um, kind of want those. <laughs> um, I don't care about that stuff. Well, um, my goodness. All right, I, all right. We'll bring some more stuff. I guess I don't know. We'll see. Part of me is tempted to seize them, but I'm not gonna. Um, we can do iron. Um, no, 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 no. I could give them some mechanisms. I mean, I feel like I'm really just scraping the bottom of the barrel here. All right, cut gems. Um, Traces are fine. Smoky quartz are fine. All right. I don't know if that'll be enough, but we'll see. We will see. Ah, good. Our food supply is up. All right. That's great. That's fantastic. Okay. Let's trade. And if any of these things offend them, I will be upset because what the heck? Well, I don't care about the deer, so we'll just take the giant cougar. Can I take that? Yeah. Um, I'll take as much as I can. Okay. That'll do. <sighs> what the hell? What the hell? 
You know, I think maybe I got the 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 metal stuff from the other dwarves, and maybe they maybe they used wood in their burning process. I don't know, man. How do they know? How do they know? How do they know? Like, do they have spies? I'm tempted to seize everything. I want that giant cougar. Argh. You know, it's fine. You know, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. How do they know? I need to know. How do they know? All right, we're going to get rid of these beds. Turn, turn this into an office. Oh my goodness. How do they know? I mean, I know that they can like see my stockpile of wood from the trade depot, but still, how do they know? I don't know, man. Okay. Um, we're going to move this too. And I'm going to get rid of that. And we'll put the office in here. Um, actually, we can just move it. That's all. Do that. And that. Perfect. All slated for removal. Perfect. Well, our trade with the elves did not go well. Hey, we can do um, our farm, though. Let's set up our farm quick. Um, four by four. Four by four. Perfect. I like how I always sort of do the same thing for farms, so I just kind of know what I'm doing. All right. And then we'll put a uh, floor tiles down too. Um, what do we got? I'm wondering what we got. Um, I don't really want obsidian though, because I want to save the obsidian for upstairs. So let's do rhyolite. That's fine. And I should be making bricks, but I'm not. I'm just going to use the stone because I'm lazy. Also, I should be letting the dwarves catch up. Um, and I, again, I'm not. So, you know, this is how we do. Where's the rhyolite? And there it is. All right, not so bad. Okay, I kind of want to wall this off. I have had dwarves throw tantrums before, like children, and break the um, levers, and then, you know, you're just kind of fucked. Um, Because, like, how do you go? Like, how would I even go attach? Um, I mean, I would have to come around this way and attach it like this, and it would just be a mess. So I kind of want to build a wall there. And I think I'm gonna. That's fine. All right, so we got giving birth to a boy, birth to a boy. Okay. We have some artifacts that have been made. Um, that I will put somewhere. I just don't have those rooms like up and running yet. So, but it's it's fine. And we'll put a door right here that will keep locked, just to be on the safe side. Okay. Oh, we've got some more cabinets and such. I would really like...
for them to put a bin there. Um, I'm just going to make a wooden bin and hopefully they'll put it there. I don't know, man. Where are we at? Hang on. Where are we at with... That's still going. Okay. That's fine. We'll let him get caught up. Um, because I feel like there's a lot to put away. While we're doing that, though, while we let them get caught up, let us, um, oh, whoops, whoops, oh, well, it's not a big deal. <laughs> um, I meant to do it down here, but I didn't. I did it up here. It's fine. It's fine. While we're doing that, let's blueprint out um, our forge here. So I don't quite know how far this, this magma goes out. Um, so I don't know. And then I'm just going to make a big old honkin' square full of stuff. Or rectangle, I don't know. Um, <clears throat> that's a little too big, I think. Um, so now we've got, I'm just going to do a random workshop here. Um, three and then three. Um, okay. So I was right the first time around. Okay. That looks pretty good. And we're going to go out this way. So I got three, 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 and then storage. I'm good with that. Eradicating monsters. Nah. So now I don't exactly have any spacing set up, but ideally we would just do something like, actually, we would do something like this and then have the magma flow where we need it and like a floodgate here um, so maybe like put a door here so nothing can get in and then like a floodgate like right here maybe um, we can put like the lever right there and then I don't quite know where we all need the magma to flow but we'll we'll do a little thingy a little uh, channel. Um, hang on. So the magma forge, we would do um, magma smelter. We would do right here, and that is going to be the top one. Okay, so it would be right here. Okay. I don't know how many I want, but one, two, three, four, five, six, I think is good. That's fine. Okay. So then we want more petitions. Eradicating monsters, no. We got some more migrants. That's great. Okay. Now we can get some work done. Well, okay. Heck, we got some more migrants. Um, we got some more miners, I think. I don't know. Woodcutters, we don't need any more. Hunters, we don't really need any more. Planters, we do need. Um, well, y'all are going to be planters for now. Actually, you're not. Um, plant gatherers. That's you guys too. Okay. So let's um, see if we can get some more work done. So we have our little forge planned out, sort of. Um, ah, they're still smoothing. It's fine. It's fine. Um, do I have these assigned? I don't. Oh, I'm a dummy. Okay. Let's get these assigned quick. Because that way, everybody will have rooms. All right. Done. 
Oh, whoops. All right, now we're done. A guild, a farmer's guild. Perfect, that's perfect. We can do that, approve. I just need this to be finished smoothing. Um, so we're gonna do a meeting area right here. Accept, and that's gonna be our farmer's guild. Let's go find our farmers. Fisher dwarves, farmers, okay. Now this is just gonna be our little meeting area where people can go get some free stuff. Just a random meeting area. Looks like we got some more animals that are gonna need to be put in the animal pen. Um, so we'll do that. Um, that's out here, I think. Yep. Llamas, donkeys. Oh, we got a good amount of cats now. That makes me happy. Um, I would really like for them to like really start putting stuff away. Um, that would be nice. We are gonna chorp some trees if I take it off of blueprint mode. Chorp. There's a lot of bees. Okay. I don't think I have any hives. Um, let's find out. Workshops, hive. We don't. That's fine. Um, I guess we'll plant some potatoes. I don't have anything formalized as far as like planting schedules go. So, you know. I really need to, to get uh, fungus. <laughs> That's what I need to do. All right, let's get some plump helmets going. Now I'm pretty sure that I started, that I turned them off in the kitchen, um, that they're used for brewing only, except I don't have any, so I can't check. Um, pretty sure I did that, but we'll we'll see when, when it comes to pass. That's looking good. We're gonna lock this, okay. Let's, uh, okay, that's all smooth, that's great. And now we are going to engrave a bunch of things. I'm gonna leave that center. I usually, when I do those little freebie spots, I put a well in the center. So we'll see how that goes. I don't know if I will or not, but we'll leave that space empty for now. Um, doors. Okay. So while they're doing that, I do wanna keep excavating further down um, cause I really wanna get those animals inside. In the meantime, let's make some hives. Let's make um, four of them for now. Hey, we finally got some bins there, that's great. This is bones, right? Yeah, okay. There's just nothing there yet because we haven't been slaughtering anything, okay. This is full already, my goodness. Um, well, we're gonna continue on with our little furniture upgrades here. Um, and then we'll, we'll excavate and see if we can't hit some fungus. Let's put some cabinets in here too. Um, a bunch. I'd like to do five, but we don't have five. That's fine. 
This is our dining hall. It also needs to be engraved. Um, we'll do that later. <laughs> um, let's continue excavating, though, and going down. So we are down to negative 40, right? I think, yeah, negative 40. Okay. Let's uh, go down to negative 50. See what happens. I don't know if anybody's going to come right now because they're all busy engraving, but we'll see. Everybody's just busy engraving. It's fine. They're going to need to engrave that dining hall next. <laughs> um, so there's that. Let's see how we're doing on the value. Hey, it's a guild hall. Great. Love it. Okay. That's great. And we'll set up some freebie piles here soon enough. Um, but I really would like to get some of that like under lichen or whatever it is. Here we go. All right. I said we were going down to a negative 50. Okay. Ooh, spinel. Human caravans here. That's great. Um, we'll pause the uh, the excavation for now, or maybe maybe not. I would like to just just hit that floor. Just hit that bottom, man. All right, nothing. Wait, Spinel. Okay, that's fine. All right. Well, they came a roundabout way. We can actually sell a bunch of freaking stuff now. So, I don't care about the drinks so much. It's the food that we want to sell. That, for whatever reason, our dwarves are not putting into barrels. Which is fine. Oh, we need to get rid of that seed barrel, too. Um, I need to break that into bags, which I can do. Um, all right, and then prepared meals. Hell yeah, there's so many. We're getting rid of all of them. All of them. <laughs> I shouldn't get rid of all of them because the dwarves are coming very soon. So I should save a bunch for the dwarves, but I'm not gonna. So... I should, but I'm not. I can I can treat the dwarves other stuff. Um, that looks good to me. Broker. Um, I'm gonna start. I want to start um, putting some floor tiles down up here. Um, that'd probably be good. I don't have that bridge attached to any levers. I mean, it's fine for now, but I'm gonna have to put a lever at some point. Um, I'm thinking in this office up here is the spot for it. All right, can we trade? We can. So much stuff. Um, they don't have a lot of stuff. I'll take that alpaca, though. I'll take the wine. Heck, I'll take the barrels, too, I guess. I don't want the milk, though. Not right now. Uh, 
Don't want any of that armor because I'm not in a spot to melt it down yet. All right, what do we got here? Sand, spelt flour will take, lentils will take, bilberry seeds will take. I'll take all of those. All of those. I'm not going to take those. All of that. All of it. Gimme. No leggings. We'll take the backpack. We'll take the quivers. We'll take the goat cheese and the crutches. And I guess we'll take that. We probably have, yeah. Um, I'm still going to give them a whole crap ton of stuff here. The thing is, I would like very much for these to be, like, in barrels and not just floating about. Um, you know, that would be great. All right, I think that's good. Excellent. Well, I feel like this is a good spot to take a break. Um, we've traded. We, we have not found any moss yet, or any fungus yet, but that's okay. We've traded with the humans. We got almost all of their stuff. We gave them a bunch of food. It worked out really well. So I think this is a good spot to take a break. <laughs> I will see you in the next one. And so, adios.